folks, uh, I'm back at Tinsley Park Shooting Club today and I'm going to try something a bit different. Uh, I thought I'd uh, test a few pellets through some uh, modelling clay to see what the ballistic performance is on it. Uh, I've got a couple of hunting pellets. Uh, one is the H&N uh, Barracuda Hunter Extreme and that's got like a, a Phillips cross cut through the top which is supposed to open the pallet up on impact and the other one is the uh, the Bisley uh, pest control which is a hollow point pallet uh, I've also got other pallets that I've been testing through the Gladius uh, ranging from the heavy uh, Barracuda Match and the Bisley Magnums down to uh, the lighter pallets like the uh, field target trophy power which is a copper coated pallet uh, and also the 18.13 grain uh, JSB uh, jumbo heavies uh, so we'll try that through the ballistic clay and uh, we'll, we'll just see what a 12 foot pound rifle can do with uh, these pallets uh, to be honest you probably need a, an iPad rifle to uh, get the best performance from them, uh, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, so uh, we'll get on with the testing. First test was the uh, H&M Maracuda Hunter x -ray. Which is me, Beth. Well, that's, uh, like you've said, that's about four inch that is, mate. I would not have thought it had gone in that deep. No. So we fired the first pellet and it you can actually see it is a rifle I think that isn't it? It's a rifle and that is made definitely yeah. definitely. It's opened up slightly but not a lot. No. But that's the uh that's the H and N uh Barracuda Hunter Extreme. That is that that is really really that's really um surprised me the depth yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's just about four inch that. Not gone all the way through. Yeah, it should be the right one this time. <laughs> this one is the pest control, the other point. It's not gone quite as far, but look how it's opened up. Look at the end. Look at that. That's, that's done what it's supposed to be done. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah, if I put that there like that, that's, that's the hollow point. Yeah, well, no. It's gone up to there. So, what it's done, it's dumped all its energy. Uh, it's not gone so far in because it's opened up. The cavity is quite wide as well. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. So that's a good one to use if you're shooting uh, vermin. vermin, yeah. Oh, it's a bit for now, probably. That's the uh, that's the rear end of it, and the front's really opened up. Not good result that. That's the uh, Bisley uh, pest control. 
Ola, Ola Point. Right, the left door's a busy madam. It's not gone all the way through it. Crikey, Dave. That's, that's almost gone right through it, that one. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Look at that, the, the depth of that's only about oh, five wow. inches. That's the uh, busy magnum. You can see the, you can actually see the, uh, yeah. the rifle on the pellet. You can, can't you? It's Definitely not, rifle in there. It's not it? deformed too much, but it went right to the end, look. No, is that the pellet hole? Yeah. That's where you dug it out, is it? It ended up there. And that's got to be five inch, hasn't it? Tell you what, mate. That's performed better, isn't it? Bisley what? Bisley Magnum, yeah. It's supposed to be a heavy pallet. Yeah. That's performed better. Yeah. Let's put that to one side. I don't know if that'll show up or not. Uh, That's the Magnum. Right, next up is the uh, Barracuda Match. 21.14 grains, same same weight and sort of size as the Magnum, busy Magnum. Expecting similar results. Ooh. This one's almost come out the other side. Yeah. Very similar to uh you can see where it ended up look. Oh bloody hell Mark, what's that one? That's the uh Barcuda match. Is it? And it's there. Yeah. That's awesome though, isn't it? Yeah. That's about a half inch, isn't it? Yeah. Look at the path it's made. I know. Yeah. Kept its, uh, kept its formation, mate. It's it? Yeah. The rifling's good, though, isn't it? It's pretty deep, that rifling, isn't it? Yeah. Didn't think it did that on air rifles, but it does, doesn't it? Yeah, it really bit into that lead. I mean, you look at them; they look the same pellet. I think that. I think they are, to be honest. There's no deformity at all in these, is there? No. Okay, the next up is the H and Field Target Trophy Power Copper Coated. Not gone all the way through it. Okay, just want to find out where it has 
That's a bit. There we go. That's it. Good morning, guys and girls. You alright, Barry? How are you going, brother? Alright, mate. Next up is the Grizzly Long Range Gold, 14.2 oh, no. grains. Gone in about four and a half inches. Just 
I'm lucky that there's something growing there. Yeah, that's good. And I don't hate about that. And, uh, there we go. No, you don't know, do you? He came, came back Sunday morning. That's the end of the testing. And they're the pellets that we've tested. Quite impressed with the hollow point, which is the second one from the left. So that's done its job, it's opened up. So if you can get an accurate shot with that, that will do its job, it'll dump all its energy, cause maximum damage. Uh, penetration wise, that one particular one probably went in three inches and the rest went up to between four and five inches penetration so at the end of the day it's down to how accurate can you target